Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for the week of March 8th. Uh, this week we are going to, nope, <laughs> we're going to jump right in here, Scorpio, and we're going to take a look at your, uh, what we are going to do is the new spread. We are going to take a look at your general energies uh, with this first row. In your second row, we're going to look at any blockages or blind spots that you could have at this time. In your third row, we're going to look at anything unexpected uh, that could be coming in for you this week. And in your fourth row, we're going to look at any advice from your guides for your current path. And we're going to see, uh, you know, basically this is going to be your next steps from your guides here. Uh, at the end, we will be pulling uh, a yes or no question. Uh, we're going to pull three cards for yes or no. I will give you time to pause the video and to ask your questions, but uh, let's see what we have for you, Scorpio. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you this week, Scorpio. Uh, two aces, I like that. To me, two aces is a definite yes to any question uh, that I don't answer. So let's see, Scorpio, what we have for uh, you here, Scorpio. Uh, in your first row here, this is your current general energies. You have the willing release card here. So I do feel like you need to be willing to let something go. You even have the tower here, which you you, you keep getting the tower in your readings. The tower is your, one of your cards here, Scorpio. And uh, the other thing I will say is that this makes perfect sense to me. The tower, we have a choice with the tower. The tower can represent holding on too tightly onto something that we know we should be letting go of, but we don't. So I feel for a lot of you, this is saying, maybe there's something you know that you need to let go of, and I feel like you just need to let go of it. The willing release card just says, be willing to you know release things. The, the reason it says that is because this could say that letting go of something will bring something in much better. And usually when we are willing to release something, when we're willing to say, hey, universe, bring me something much better, then we get something much better. So I feel like that's what you need to do here with this card. Yeah, you have this endless possibilities card. I feel like you need to realize that you're not stuck. I get this like energy of feeling like there's, um, you know, what I would say here, Scorpio, is I get this energy of like the one, you know, here with the endless possibilities card. So I feel for some of you, it's like it could be a person where you feel like maybe a person is the one or was the one. And you could be having a hard time letting go of them with this energy here. But it doesn't have to just be love. For some of you, I feel like this could be like a business or something you're holding on to here. I get this energy of investment with the tower. And so I feel that this could be kind of like the sunk cost fallacy. If you don't know what that is, it's basically where we invest so much time, effort, energy, or money into something that we're afraid to let it go because it's like because we've invested all the time, effort, energy, money, whatever you want to call it, into a project. I get that energy here for you here, Scorpio. I don't think it's a bad thing. I just think that there could be something. I feel like I've said this to you before as well. I feel like there's something that you've been working on for a very long period of time. I feel like you've sunk a lot into it and that could be kind of like the problem. That could be why you're having a hard time letting go of something. I only feel that for some of you. I don't think that's true for all of you, but I would say the, the more you release, I feel like the more possibilities are going to show up in your life. So I feel like it is not the end. I feel, that's what I feel like saying. I feel like saying there will be a rebirth here in this row as well. So maybe some of you are thinking that something is the end. I feel like it's only the beginning. Like you are on this path to a victory chariot. So I like this. The, the Hierophant here, I feel like is just saying whatever you're releasing was a learning experience and you just need to see kind of like what you learned from the experience in the first place. Let's keep this going. Ten of Pentacles here. This is what you are heading towards here, Scorpio. The Six of Wands, major success. Look at this. And the lovers, are you kidding me? Scorpio, this is amazing. Um, I feel like for some of you, you're afraid to let go of something here. The, the second you let go, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Wands, lovers. This could be true love that's coming in for you here. Could lead to marriage. Ten of Pentacles to me is the best love card in the deck. It's everything you desire to have in a relationship. Uh, for others, it could just be like a business. Maybe you're afraid to let go of a business or to start a new business or to work on a new project here. But I feel like you need to, that's like what you need to do. I can think of a thousand stories off the top of my head where it's like someone was working on something, they, then they give, they give up on it, they start working on something else, they become successful. Uh, the guy who wrote Game of Thrones, George R. R. Martin or whatever, it's like before he was writing Game of Thrones, he was writing another book, right? And then he stopped and then he started writing Game of Thrones and boom, look, now he's famous. So I feel for some of you, that's the energy I get here. It's like you could be thinking that something is really great. And I'm not saying that it isn't, but at the same time, I feel like there's just something so much better coming in for you here. And I feel like you need to see, I feel like saying the grass is greener on the other side in this first row. Amazing. 
Uh, next, in your next row here, for uh, the uh, for blockages and blind spots, you have the focus card. I do feel like you need to focus. Again, there could be a lot going on in your life. Look, it's snowing on this card. You know, it's like you could be not paying attention too much to like the little things or things that you can't control. So I feel like you need to keep your eye on the prize. It's almost like this leopard is kind of looking at the top of this mountain here. So I feel like you need to keep your eye on the prize here this week with this uh, focus card. You have the five of swords, six of wands, and the page of cups here. I feel, again, some of you releasing something, going through a breakup, or maybe you're going through a separation here. That could be like a little bit of a blockage with the Six of Swords, so or the Five of Swords. So I, I do feel like you need to let go of that here. I do feel like there could be a lot of attention coming in for you with these six wands. This to me is a blind spot. I feel like you don't see that you could be getting a lot of attention. This could be in love, but I also feel like this could be in work or business. Why is this important? Let's. I need to find out. To me, the... Um, to me, the King of Wands could say that the reason this attention right here is important in work or business is because, again, you could be getting like a raise or a promotion, and I feel like that's something that you should pay attention to. You have the Net of Swords here with the Five of Swords here. Uh, the Star here, tons of attention. You're like the third sign that's had something. And look at, boom, what did I say? I said Rebirth at the beginning of the reading. Death card right here. So I feel in your card as well. You show up in a very strong position here, Scorpio. I feel like you need to let go of something. This right here is kind of like having those thoughts of like going backwards is what I feel for you here, Scorpio. I feel like for some of you, it's kind of like maybe you've gotten out of a relationship or maybe you're going through a breakup and you're thinking like, what if I did this? What if I did that? What if I, you know, what if I fix this? What if I didn't do that? You know, like all these like racing thoughts are racing around in my head here, but it's like you didn't, right? So I don't want to call you out here, but I feel like this is saying you didn't do those things and that's okay, right? There's something clearly significantly better coming in for you. It's like a blessing in disguise reading is what I would say to Scorpio. Um, this whole reading, I'd say the whole thing kind of feels like a blessing in disguise. Something not working probably was for the best. And, you know, I know, like, trust me, it pisses me off when I hear people say that as well. So don't get me wrong. But again, that's what I feel like this is. It's like there's some sort of recovery going on here. Star and the death card. The star comes up after the tower. It goes tower, star, right? It's like you're healing from a tower moment with the star card here. But I feel you are kind of going through this healing energy. I also feel like there's a lot of attention, but I feel like you have to get it. Again, I feel like the blind spot for you is getting attention on something with this focus card. Maybe you're trying to build a business. I feel like you need to try to get it as much attention as you possibly can. Maybe you're trying to get a race. I feel like you need to get that rate. You know, you need to get yourself as much attention as you possibly can in work or business. There you go. Um, uh, for, or maybe in some other area of your life, you need to get as much attention as you possibly can, especially if you want like new love. You have the page of cups here. It could be new love coming in for you, but I feel like you need to get attention to find that love. I'm going to fix that light. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, Scorpio. But anyway, uh, you know, I would get as much attention as you possibly can. Uh, in your next row for the unexpected for you this week, you have the high honor card. Again, could be a raise or promotion. So I do feel there could be like a raise or promotion coming in for you here. You have this mature woman card. Again, these cards, these Kipper cards are meant to be gendered. But, um, you know, again, I just feel like there could be someone who's in a position of authority who is going to be giving you a raise or promotion or some sort of high honor here. You have the... Uh, King of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. I do feel like this could be unexpected communication and love as well. It could be a fire sign. could be any sign with the King of Wands. And I just feel like it's someone who's very bold, very assertive. Um, you know, kind of really, kind of like I get this real creative energy. King of Wands to the Ace of Wands. It's like someone who's really like a go-getter. But I feel like it's more, they're more creative. They could literally be a creative, like in art or something like that. But they could also be like a builder or something along those lines. So I feel like someone's really coming after you here in love. And it's like a new person. Someone very attractive as well. I feel like you find them very attractive here, Scorpio. But you have the King of Wands, Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords. This is like communication coming in for you. So I feel like there is unexpected news or unexpected uh, communication coming in for you. For others, this is like fortune after difficulty. After going through this, Ten of Cups is fortune after difficulty. It kind of represents major improvements coming in after a very difficult period of time. So I feel like things are going to be improving for you greatly here, Scorpio, with this energy. Now you have the sun popping out here as well. 
in the moon. But let's see here what we get for you here, Scorpio. You have the strength card. Yeah, I do feel like you're being rewarded a little bit by the universe. Knight of Pentacles, you're getting something you work for. It could be an earth sign coming in for you as well. Queen of Wands, someone finds you very attractive. King and Queen of Wands. Uh, for some of you, this could be like a divine counterpart uh, coming in for you this week, especially if you're looking for love. Could be a fire sign. Uh, or You have everything here. Fire, earth, water, Aquarius. Could be any sign. Just a general reading, right? But I feel like this could be love. Someone who finds you very attractive. For others, I feel like this is boldness. Again, I was saying this earlier. Queen of Wands is an energy of being very bold, being very assertive, really going for things that you want to accomplish, really accomplishing great things. So I feel like you need to be bold. I feel like you need to be assertive and really go for what you want at this time because, again, I feel like you can accomplish things um, very, very quickly here with this Queen of Wands energy. It's definitely victories coming in for you this week as well with this energy, so love it. Uh, in your final row here for advice from your guides, you have the go the distance card. I feel like your guides really want you to go the distance at this time. I feel like your guides want you to kind of see something through to the end here as well. So if you're working on a project or a business, I feel like you really need to give it everything you got. You have a lot of this energy of like really, really giving something everything you got. Queen of Wands, King of Wands is a very bold, assertive energy. And the Queen of Wands is a card of wholehearted energy as well, Scorpio. So if you're working on a project, a business, whatever, I feel like giving it your heart and soul will make you very successful. You have the Ace of Wands, the Fool, and the Five of Pentacles here. I feel like your guides want you to be careful of your words, number one. Five of Pentacles says, sorry, my face itches. I have really bad allergies, Scorpio. My face is driving me crazy <laughs> in your reading. I apologize. But um, you have the Five of Pentacles here. And I feel like this is saying, do not call attention to your weaknesses like I just did, right? Now my eyes are bothering me more because I said that. So Five of Pentacles literally says, do not call attention to your weaknesses. Uh, this guy here, he's wearing a belt around his neck and he represents a leper. And he again says, do not call attention to your weaknesses. So I, I feel like your guides want you to use these strong, bold, assertive words this week. You have the Ace of Wands and the Fool. I feel, like it, I feel like you are ready to take some sort of leap of faith here is what this reading is saying. So don't be afraid to take the leap of faith off the cliff here. Ace of Wands, I feel like you're feeling very inspired. Again, Ace of, Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, very inspirational, kind of like successful energy. I feel there is a lot of success that's coming in for you this week. Wheel of Fortune, damn. Wheel of Fortune is like a lot of luck, but it's also your personal vision for your life. The King of Pentacles here, I feel like you're building something permanent in your life. And the Queen of Cups, I feel like you need to nurture yourself as well. I, I feel like your guides here are saying, nurture yourself. I feel like your guides want you to realize here on the Ace of Wands, or I mean on the uh, Wheel of Fortune, that you control your own destiny with this card. The Wheel of Fortune, there's a snake right over here, and it represents your vibes, like the vibrations you give off. And it kind of says you control your reality with your vibes. So I feel like you need to kind of raise your vibration here, keep it positive. King of Pentacles, you're building something long-term. You're building something very successful. I feel like you just have to take a leap of faith here. So in a lot of ways, this reading to me is just saying you're letting go of something here and you're starting something new um, again. Um, for some of you, uh, you could be kind of like uh, just upgrading here, you know, but this would be a pretty big upgrade. Like if you're, if this is a business that you're letting go of, it's like maybe you're entering into a similar business, but it's going to be a major upgrade. Like I feel like there's a lot of things that you've learned that you're going to be changing about it. Same thing in love as well. If you're moving towards new love, I feel like there's like a major upgrade here where it's like you're realizing that there's a different type of person that you need to be with. Other than that, I just get fortune after difficulty in this reading. I feel like you are just going through this kind of improvement. All these cards are really good. Ten of Pentacles, Star, Ten of Cups, The Lovers, Chariot, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. Really positive energy. So we're going to do a yes or no questions now here, Scorpio. We're going to do one, two, and three. So one, two, and three. Feel free to pause this video right now and feel free to ask in your head your three yes or no questions. Uh, for number one, we have the lovers. So I would say yes, especially if it's involving love <laughs> here, Scorpio. You have the lovers twice right here. So yes, for sure. For number three, you have, for number two, you have the nine of cups. Yes, definitely make a wish on number two, and you have the star card here as well. So I would just say make a wish for number two, and I would say yes. And for number three, you have the three of wands here. I do feel a yes, but again, three of wands is kind of more like a maybe uh, to me. Three of wands says you need to take action, you need to get moving towards something. So whatever you are asking for question number three, I feel like yes, as long as you make the first move. If you're thinking about communicating with a person or moving towards a person, I would say yes, but you need to make the first move. Uh, it could be anything else. If you're thinking about starting something or 
whatever. I feel like this three of wands is saying yes, as long as you get started right now. But uh, a lot of possibilities for you at this time, Scorpio. Really nice reading. Love it. So thank you for watching, Scorpio. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you this week. Uh, also, feel free to like and subscribe. But thank you, Scorpio, and definitely enjoy your week.